G'day guys, what's going on? And here, so as you can see, I've got out my VRX Cobra 110 scale um, just here at my local BMX track, which doesn't get maintained a lot. So uh, we'll see how we go. I'll try and stick to the track rather than trying to drive through the uh, the tall grass here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get out the, uh, the Cobra again. So today I'm gonna be running this on 4S got a hobby wing esc in there and a 3660 motor the kv i'll put up on the screen because i cannot remember what kv it is and i've also uh, not yet but this one's going to get a dumbo rc upgrade as well so i did run out of um transmitters or receivers whatever you want to call them they go in the car and uh yeah we're going to change all these over and i'm going to get rid of all my uh my fly sky stuff so yeah let's have a bash and uh yeah We'll have some fun today. There we go. These do run good on 4S, but you do have to be careful of the differentials. They are uh, they're quite they're quite delicate. If they're not shimmed properly and well maintained, then uh, you've got to be replacing differentials all the time. Plenty of power before us. Let's uh, go over here on some other jumps. Yeah, it's not well maintained this track. It's absolutely terrible. Oh. oh, one of my straps to come off from my battery too. All right, let me see, make sure there's no damage first. All right, let's see how we go. Put it back in action. So yeah, it does look quite ugly without that uh, rear wing on. Sometimes I think 3S is more than enough for this car. And there it goes. Battery just fell out. Tell you, this one is starting to become a shelf queen. What did I break? Don't know what that is. Something flew off over here. I don't know what it was. But battery just completely fell out and it's still in one piece which is good and let's see what the damage is this time yeah this one here is just my first car and it's going to be a never again buy one of these cars or run it on 3s uh, my strap broke everything else looks okay ESC's come off. It's uh, silicon because normally I do silicon them down, but I reckon the batteries pushed onto it. I did have a brace at the front here to secure the battery in, but that must have fallen off. That's probably what's fallen off down there somewhere. But battery's nice and straight. It's got a little bit of a bend in it, but I want to look after these batteries because they're pretty good. The Yumi Power ones, and I was running like I said, 4,000. Uh, sorry, 6,500 milliamp on a uh, 4S system. And yeah, this thing, man, it just does my head in. We're gonna call it a day there, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave any comments if you like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next run.